honestly kind of hoping that my duck station crashed. Which is its way of rejecting this game like it's an unmatched kidney. Time for the most hated PS1 game. There's actually a couple of PS1 games that some consider worse. I think there was like a YouTuber by the name of Sean Shonson that actually did a YouTube video that covers like PS1 games that could be potentially worse than Bubsy 3D. And I think The Simpsons Wrestling came up as one of them. The reason I've called you here today is to explain why a state of general emergency has been called by the woolly military. As you may already know, a great catastrophe has befallen us that threatens to destroy our very woolly way of life. Bubsy Bobcat! Bubsy Bobcat is on Rayon! We'll be fucked! Settle down! Settle down! going to be bopped on my watch. How could this have happened? Well, that's a bit of a long story, but here's the abridged version, approved for public dispersal by their royal highnesses, Queens Polly and Esther. Our magnificent queens devised an ingenious plan to steal all the wool balls of Earth, but they were foiled by the fiendish Bugsy Bobcat. Now, our queens have developed an even more ingenious, is such a thing as possible, invasion plan. Unfortunately, they needed to get their fireball out of the picture. <laughs> so a crack troop of woody commandos... First would be a fart sound effect. There, they fought bravely and captured the hideous beast. You in no small part to my brilliant tactical leadership. On the return trip, uh, due to a slight technical difficulty, the rocket carrying the beast crashed, and the bobcat escaped! Woohoo! Now, if you see the bobcat, do not, I repeat, do not approach it! It can be extremely dangerous when frightened by the average woolly! <sighs> Report its whereabouts immediately to the nearest woolly soldier. We have stationed nose blowers and rock throwers throughout the area around the crash site. <sighs> We anticipate having recaptured the creature in two shakes of a dogfish's tail. Any questions? What does it want? What did we ever do to it? We have our best people in Woody Intelligence working on that right now. So far, all we know is that the creature's plan somehow revolves around collecting atoms and rockets. What it plans to do with these useless yet abundant natural resources, we have no idea. Our best scientists have been stopped by that very question for decades, and all they've come up with so far is a spacecraft capable of interstellar travel. Why would this interest the furry fiend? Oh, again, we have no idea. Now then, I advise all citizens to remain in their homes until further notice. This meeting is... Should have taken that left turn at Uranus. Was it something I said? What could possibly go wrong? Honestly, if this game was all intro, it might actually save people. All right, let's go to options. I wonder how many people have decided. You know what? We're just gonna do this. But I want everybody to have the full experience, so we're gonna leave the voices on. Welcome to your doom! They must have blew their entire budget on that intro, honestly. <coughs> okay, at least it tells you ahead yes. of time uh, how many levels there are, in which there are 18 too many. Uh... Let's just do the first level and hope for the best. I don't like that the inner part of his hands don't have any textures. Claws for alarm. It's no use!
Okay, so left and right rotates or turns. Ah! Uh, L1 just just does. This. Frustrated into the goddamn word for This is bullshit. L2 and R2 lets you kind of sidle somewhat. No. It doesn't even list the controls or anything. Circle lets you duck. Triangle starts the glide. Oh, if you hold the atom for too long, it hurts you. Cool. You can also chuck atoms. Which I imagine would have some use. There's also no textures either. So I imagine if this game actually did have textures, the frame rate for this would be way worse. That would be a big problem. Camera faces down when jumping. Honestly, I I kind of like that it does that at times. Because it also lets you see where you're going to land. I mean, it doesn't have the polish of Jumping Flash, but Jumping Flash also lets you see where you're going to land. It might have its issues if you're actually trying to see what's in front of you. Oh wait, is there somewhere else to go? All the way over there? I don't think you can get that far. I'm gonna try it. Okay, that just lets you- Yeah, I get to the other side. Sting like a, a bee. Okay, that's all that was. Just to get some random atoms. Yeah, I can just throw it at the enemies too. Yep, you can do that as well. why I would look for extra lives in this. I probably personally just want the suffering to be over. Even though it just started. But hey, it's... For some of us, we might actually see Bubsy 3D played for the first time. Only heard about it through people talking about it, but not actually see it get played. And I'm sure they're already regretting seeing it. But honestly, I... Here's the thing, like, the first Bubsy game... As weird as it was... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I didn't hate it as I thought I would. The second game... It actually did more, but it also made it kind of worse. Like, it became a worse experience. 
And then there was a Bugsy game for the Atari Jaguar that I did get to play, and somehow that one's also worse, too. Isn't that your checkpoint? Whoa. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. What? I don't even, I don't even know what hit me there. Like I just took damage on nothing. Oh, yep, secret balls. I hold it too long. But I thought I let go of it, though. I don't think I was holding on to it then. Oh, landing on the uh, checker floor is actually causing me to get warped out. Yay! Collectibles! I don't think you need all of them to beat the game, but I think you need them all for, like, the best ending. Oh, you can throw it into other atoms, too. To be fair, Crash Bandicoot is the much better choice if you had that or Bubsy 3D. I was wondering how you get up there. Great! Now we have enemies that shoot! So that means I'm gonna have to do the same myself. Start, those that woolly started to spit the very microsecond that my uh invincibility relaxed. This does not line up properly with when I'm trying to throw it at the woolly. Why does it go like that? Boom. Oh, come on! Can't believe that still hit me. Super Mario 64 have done. 
if this game was never in development. Because this was slated to practically be, like, what, the first 3D platformer? So it's not like Bubsy 3D had a uh, blueprint to go on. Like, this is... This was the blueprint. To a degree. Like, what 3D platformers were being worked on at the time? Was, like, this? Mario 64? Maybe Croc? There wasn't a dearth of 3D platformers. That's the platform I need. It's right here. Right. Okay! I'll just drown! Haven't I been here? Yeah! That's what you get for dying! Oh, oh god, I almost have it again. I think that's the end of the level right there, too. Yep, so we never have to visit it again. You know, forget, I'm just gonna leave. Why did he make a Three Stooges yelp? That's a lot of characters for a password. But yeah, Bubsy couldn't survive water either in the first game. Oh, bonus round. I thought you could just jump on that! Because <laughs> I, oh god. Grand opening, grand closing. <laughs> no, I'm starting to think this game sucks. <laughs> Both rockets collected. That's. I mean, to be fair, that's not fully a rocket. That's a piece of a rocket, but whatever. I'm not gonna question it. Man, that would have been funny, Red, if that actually were bees in there instead of spiders. Claustrophobic. Get it? Cause claw puns? You like claw puns? Gimme, gimme, gimme! <laughs> oh, this lets me sh keep shooting. What? I didn't see anything there! What the fuck? Like, sometimes Bubsy just gets hit by nothing. Like, just the mere existence of being in a game like this does damage to Bubsy. I mean, it's doing damage to us. When you jump forward, you get sent flying forward. Alright, what's this? 
Did I just collect? Oh, come on. I think one more hit, I'm dead. Like, what the hell is this? Okay, let's get up! Okay, at least I'm up here now. Yeah, mom made extra lives for me so I can, like, only die for a couple seconds and I'm back again. Mom doesn't seem to like it when I'm dead permanently. Imagine that. Am I on ice now? Okay, no. I thought it was ice physics for some reason. Also, I don't think enemies respawn if you die and then come back. So that's a relief, I guess. I think it was like that in the original games, too. Like, sometimes the level was the enemy. Hard read. Oh, you're not getting me like this. Tell me to go this way now. supposed to get up there, was I? Oh, I jumped too early. In some parallel universe, this has to be somebody's favorite game. Unironically. And that person probably lived in a house with lead paint in it. He floats through the air! Because there's no justifiable reason. Like, what's defendable about this? Or defensible? I can say words. I can English. It's hard though. It really is. Someone did a speed run of this? I mean, if I had to play Bubsy 3D, I'd want to finish it as fast as possible too. Perhaps this is the only one they got to play. I would consider that Stockholm Syndrome. Like, if the only PlayStation 1 game you had to play was Bubsy 3D. Oh, okay. Apparently you're not supposed to do that. You have to do this. First down, first serve. Yeah, what was the time of that speed run? I'm gonna guess like an hour and 12 minutes from beginning to end. Because you also gotta take into account loading screens. And that adds seconds to it. Well, 
What the fuck is this? I don't know if that hurts me on contact. Especially since his movement is so erratic. Oh, come on! Like, what are you supposed to do to get away from that? It just pins you down right away. Maybe I should just grab this. I'm invulnerable now. Well, I didn't get any rocket pieces, but fuck it. <laughs> You gotta play the level again if you want to get everything. To tell you the truth, I kind of expect it to feel this way. I haven't reached the quitting point yet. Twenty one minutes and eighteen seconds. I don't like that the uh out like the thumbnail for the level looked like water. Catatomic catastrophe. Bullshit. I can't dodge where I can't see, video game. I'm sorry. Oh, double hit? Yeah, every speedrunner had to play the game several times to get the right route. And people just get, like, mad at, like, Elden Ring speedrunners saying, like, oh, oh, they don't even bother to play the game. But I'm like, they play the game more than us. That's how they found the speedrun routes. Oh, yeah. The liquid. That's what I was worried about. After a while, you do get used to their attack patterns, so you know what to do. You gotta love platforming where, like, one drop and you die. God. Okay, fine. I'll just do this. Uh, uh. Uh. Okay, I didn't even see a shadow cast right there. That's worrying.
I imagine something like that happens at a party. Why would you even bother to host? <laughs> Machines in my butthole. Oh, wow. I... Okay, at least I'm out of the uh, playing objects range. Wouldn't want to go there. <laughs> Farming you have to do, you have to you have to plan out. And it just doesn't feel good in any way. I'll say this much. You will come to appreciate the ledge grabbing when you need it most. And at least it happens quite often. Otherwise, I would hate this game even more. That's tough. It just wants you to do platforming all the time. What the fuck? You just did platforming. Yeah, but now you gotta do it again. And now you gotta. You might have to go over there. Okay, well, I see where the exit is. Uh-oh. Okay. Price is averted. Life-giving water, nectar of the gods. Bubsy has to use hydrate dyes immediately. <laughs> Alright, I think I have to... I think there was a wrong turn I took when I went this way. Lily shows up to the stream to see Bubsy, like that meme of the guy that carrying the pizzas and then finds that the room is on fire. <laughs> it's the same fucking thing. Like, have you ever seen that gif? It is so apt to what is going on here. If you played Bubsy 3D and did not go insane, did you actually play Bubsy 3D? Uh, 
All right, I'm guessing we're at the first boss now. Hey, look at this loading screen. It matches the box art. Wooly Bully. Oh, it makes bark noises. Oh, yeah, you're not gonna believe what the strategy is to actually hit the boss. You're supposed to glide over the uh, laser blast. And then you hit him in the head. So I'm not going into this fight completely blind. Because I have seen somebody play this fight before. And you would never think that's the tactic you gotta use. this game for the first time would never think to use something like that oh Is Bubsy is a cousin of Conker? No. At least Conker tried to do it. We got to hit this guy three times. Oh, did it just teleport me onto the acid? That's freaking mean video game. The arena is so small. You're acting as if you have any of that, Bugsy. I'll just get picked off as I'm doing my floaty thing. I wonder if there are uh, 
Bubsy voice lines that are ripped on YouTube with no music. I'm only just asking that to myself. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Move like a bee, sting like a, a bee! <laughs> what was that an option? If you're just gonna spawn me back in place, don't put me somewhere that kill that hurts me instantly, game. There, boss defeated. What a nuisance. You know what? I'm feeling kind of generous, so we'll do one more level and then we'll call it here with Bubsy. Game over, yeah! What urban legend have I remembered? Mm, nothing off the top of my head. Missing links. Oh no! It's a swimming level! And the fish are dogs. Oh, you can actually make yourself go faster, but it also consumes your air faster, too. Okay, circle makes you go down. Exact! Come on. Well, what do you do if they're faster than you, though? You just get hit, that's it. Does this give me more air? Okay, yeah, it does. Cool. Oh, it also attacks enemies. That's actually really helpful. I'm not even gonna try to get everything. I'm just gonna go. It's either that or die. Oh yeah, I didn't get a checkpoint until now. What? Hit hey, me from there? What the fuck? This game is full of hate. Mini Bubsies? Well, at least I made it to a checkpoint. Now, why don't they give you air? That's just so stupid. Oh my Christ, I was near the end of the level too when I drowned. I almost beat this level on the first try. Well, that was an experience. I made it past 
that level, we got to see a water stage in a Bubsy game. <laughs> oh, good lord. That might have been more than I can handle for a game like this, but at the end of the day, at least I made it through here. Baby Blue? What about Baby Blue? As an urban legend? The closest thing I've ever heard of Baby Blue was Baby Blue 2, which is not an urban legend. But rather like Friday night softcore porn movies on TV. And sometimes you got to see that vampire movie with uh, Alyssa Milano in it. But anyway, that's it for a uh, Bubsy 3D for the PlayStation. That was more than I could stomach of this game. But hey! Somehow I persevered beyond stage 2 where people thought I would go completely insane. I only went kinda insane. So uh, thank you Ash for nominating this game. That probably violates the Geneva Convention. But I think it's time to move on.